We make the trip to Japan now for the matchday five encounter between Urawa Reds and Guangzhou Evergrande in Group F. The Chinese champions made a positive start to their campaign with a 3-0 win at the expense of the Reds on matchday one. And since then have been unbeaten with a tally of 10 points and three wins to boast of in four games. As for the J-League club, the race for the knockout stage has been a tough task, with the Saitama Giants racking up just four points from a single victory and a draw. Come match day five, and the 2007 champions had to win at all costs to avoid an exit from the competition. But with an aggressive Guangzhou looking forward to doing the double over the Reds, the stage was set for a mouth-watering battle. Guangzhou had one foot in the knockout stage at the end of day four, with John Book and the Reds still in contention of progressing. Over 19,000 turned up at the Saitama Stadium for the clash between Urawa Reds and visitors Guangzhou Evergrande. A single point here was enough for the Chinese champions to qualify. Again, advancing forward. Every chance they get. Onside here, one on one. Great goalkeeping for a while, but it should be the opening goal. And it is Barrios rounding Nobuhiro Kato, his second of this campaign. Uruchi with the pass, and really well done by Barrios to just put that past the keeper. It was that touch there. Very, very cheekily done. Aquino. That could fall kindly. They've got a goal back here. Is that offside? Shinzo Kuroki tapping in. After great work from Aquino, standing that ball up. And it might all be too late anyway. They certainly will go out with a bang. It looked like a hint of offside. And that's another goal. A brilliant finish. And he's made up for the penalty miss in the first half. Yuki Abe stuck his leg out. We were just talking about the wonderful defensive capabilities of Guangzhou Evergrande. And UK Abe will be so happy to have made up for his penalty miss. It's a penalty! Another chance to right that wrong earlier missing. Yes, he can! 3-1, right back in this. Delight from the crowd and from the coaching staff. Oh, Marucci's pulled one back, it's offside though. Quick eyes of the assistant. Real any uh, opposition to that one. Now, what's going on here? Is there a card? Someone in charge of time wasting, not sure. They've given it as a goal. What's going on? Well, this is really strange because it was overruled by the assistant as offside. Here is the goal. This is what we were looking for earlier. And there you have it. A tumultuous game that ends in triumph for Urawa Reds, which has given them a real chance of still getting through to the next round. But the final score here, it's Urawa Reds 3, Guangzhou Evergrande 2. The other Group H match saw John Book Hyundai post a comfortable 2-0 home win over Muangtong United. Those results saw the race to the knockout stage thrown wide open in Group F, 
Guangzhou and Jeonbuk will face each other for home advantage on day six. While the Reds can still progress if they defeat Muangtong and the K-League side lose their match.